Culture, Our People is a series of five videos introducing teachers to First Nations and Métis culture and communities. The series covers key areas such as communities, protocols, relationships, learning, and symbols. In the episode Speak Out, students voice their opinions and experiences through candid interviews. We are a culture of rich stories, great celebration, and various historical challenges, which have all contributed to our culturally diverse communities today. We want our teachers to feel confident and comfortable in our communities. We are looking forward to sharing our history and values with you. The First Nations and Métis cultures have many symbols that are meaningful to the Aboriginal people. Our culture is intertwined with the history of Canada, and to understand each symbol is to understand the meaning and story behind each one. The Métis flag is either blue or red with a white infinity symbol. The blue flag is associated with the Métis Nation of Alberta, while the red is associated with the Métis settlements in Alberta. Historically, the Red River Cart was a traditional mode of transportation for the Métis people. It was an all-purpose vehicle and makeshift home. The carts made their first appearance in 1801 at Fort Pembina, just south of what is now the United States border. Originally, the carts were small, horse-drawn affairs with three-foot, solid wheels cut from large trees. They carried up to 450 pounds. Later, Larger wheels with four spokes were used. Gradually, the Red River carts with their huge spoked wheels evolved, carrying nearly twice the load. The Métis sash is brightly colored, made from a traditional finger weaving technique. The color variations of the sash include red, the historical color for the Métis, blue and white, symbolizing the colors of the Métis Nation flag, green, signifying fertility, growth and prosperity, and black, symbolizing the dark period in which the Métis people had to endure dispossession and repression. The men's sash is slightly wider and is worn around the waist. Women's sashes are narrower and usually worn over the shoulder, across the body, and tied at the opposite hip. Songs of the Métis fiddle and the jig are symbols of early beginnings and the joyful spirit in which the Métis people gathered and grew, dancing and jigging to a fiddle rhythm. Passed down from earlier generations, every dance is a celebration. The Métis people are known for their use of floral designs in their beadwork. Beadwork is used on most traditional Métis clothing, such as moccasins, coats, vests, belts, bags and mittens. Beaded clothing was a source of income for many Métis women and families. The eagle is highly revered and considered sacred within First Nation traditions and culture. They are honored with great care and shown the deepest respect. They represent honesty, truth, majesty, strength, courage, wisdom, power, and freedom. As they roam the sky, they are believed to have a special connection to Creator. The eagle is considered to be a messenger to Creator. It was given the honor of carrying the prayers of man and woman between the world of earth and the world of spirit, where the Creator and grandfathers reside. To wear or hold an eagle feather causes the Creator to take immediate notice. With the eagle feather, the Creator is honored in the highest way.
The medicine wheel is a First Nations teaching based on the concept of balance and harmony of all living things anchored by the four directions, north, east, south, and west. Each direction and group contains sacred symbols and teachings within and around the medicine wheel. One of the traditional shelters of the First Nations people were teepees. The construction of these shelters involved 13 poles that come to a point and were covered in deer hides, moose skins, and buffalo robes. An opening at the bottom of the teepee allowed breezes to carry the smoke from a central fire to an opening at the top. Several people lived in each teepee. Generally, sacred pipes consist of two parts, a tobacco holding bowl made of bone, wood, stone or metal, and a stem, usually made of wood. The pipes of the plains were usually made out of soft, red stone. There's an understanding that the pipe would allow for peaceful land transactions because no First Nations person would lie once words were spoken in the presence of the pipe. When the pipe was presented to the circle and then smoked, it was a symbol of the straight truth that went directly to the Creator. If an individual accepted the pipe and smoked it, he was in fact saying he believed what he was hearing and that he in return would not lie. The First Nations and Métis cultures have many symbols that are meaningful to the Aboriginal people. Our culture is intertwined with the history of Canada, and to understand each symbol is to understand the meaning and story behind each one. <laughs>